Okay, now over to Tim in the Mastercraft Kitchen, and you've got some amazing company today, haven't you? Yes, I do. Yeah, Chef Royalty, Anthony Hoi Fong's joining us today, so I thought I'd cook one of his recipes. Shock horror, I'm doing vegetarian, who would have thought? Um, but we're doing wild mushroom and courgette ragu. I've got to get it started, Anthony will join me later, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So what I've done is I've just diced up uh, a whole capsicum and a clove of garlic, and I'm just going to trim my onion, I've got half an onion here. And so, whack this in the pan under a low heat. Cook it until it begins to soften. Add a few liquids, and, uh, but I'll explain that when you come back to me and, uh, and show you the sauce all ready to go. He is a legend in the chef world, having cooked at the White House multiple times, running successful restaurants in the US, plus appearing on Oprah. And now he joins us in the Mastercraft Kitchen. Thank you so much, Anthony Hoifong. Welcome back home, I guess. Thanks a lot. Glad to be here in the big time. I know, to the table. When you come from Oprah to here, you know you've hit the big time. This is, this is awesome, because I don't have to do any cooking, apparently. I've no, got, yeah. I've got Master Chef Tim. <laughs> and, this kitchen, is, <laughs> and this is your recipe, though, isn't it? This is one of my recipes, yes. This okay. is a, a great recipe that that my wife and I cook uh, pretty frequently at home, actually. That, and if there's one tip you could give us on this recipe for Tim, what would it be? Don't put any sugar in here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've been listening very carefully over there. And sugar was in the recipe, but it's not in there today. Taking well, it out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> A life less sugar. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, we, don't, we don't need the sugar in there. We've got some pretty sweet uh, red capsicum in there. And if you cook it the right way on a low temp, it concentrates the natural sugars, gets nice and sweet. Nice. We don't need the uh, extra sugar in there, all right? Nice. That's for you, Amanda. <laughs> so we are going to be talking to you a little bit more, going to learn more about your history, but you're an old Auckland grabber boy, aren't you? Oh, Sorry, yeah. right? Yes. Is that where you learnt to cook, or did you do it at home? Uh, traditionally, no. Auckland grabber was not the place where I learnt to cook. Right. Although we did release a cookbook last year, so. But no, I, I learnt to cook in the States. I went to a culinary school over there, um, downtown New York, Soho. Cut, cut my teeth in some uh, fancy New York restaurants, and Ooh, nice. uh, that's kind of where I learned, you know, the, my chef skills. Okay, well now Tim's under pressure because he. Yeah, is sorry, I'm, I'm throwing pan. pans everywhere, aren't I? Yeah, but rough. Yep. Mate, you wouldn't ask me. You wouldn't ask Jeff, and you're still. Yeah, about. not. Mel's been giving me a hard time about yeah. my presentation. Well, you, the actually, whole time I've been wonder how we won that. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's all right, Tim. Yeah, so do I. Actually. You should be okay. on this side, now, right? After you win, right? Yeah. But you still have to cook. Right. <laughs> okay, so talk us through what we're doing here, Tim right. and Anthony. You can both do that. Actually. Anthony can go. He, he'll. Talk, I'll, All right, I'll, give, I'll give you a little nudge. So, so in the food process, uh, we uh, caramelised some uh, red capsicum onion garlic. Yep. Took it down. That's going to be the sauce for our dish. Mm -hmm. and we're cooking a vegetarian dish tonight. Nice. And actually, the only reason why we're doing that, because um, Tim and I were chatting beforehand, and neither of us are, are vegetarian guys, but today we are. Because um, this is a dish that I cook. My wife and I just had an 18 month uh, a baby. Oh, well, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. And, and she's 18 months old, so we kind of our dinners kind of revolve around what she can eat as well as us. So, so this is we've got a nice uh, pureed sauce that she can eat. Yep. And then we've got Smells some, incredible too. Yeah, this. and then we've yeah. got some healthy uh, vegetables that just get a, a really good sauté. So we've got a whole bunch of different mushrooms. We've got uh, white buttons. We've got uh, Swiss browns. We've got portobellos, and some really cool wild mushrooms like these these enokis, and we've got shiitakes, oyster mushrooms. Yum. Yeah, and it's pretty cool. It's just that you know you, you do that just for a whole bunch of different textures. So when you eat it, it kind of replaces that that you know sensation of eating meat. And you know. when you come back home, do you notice there's a difference between the produce and say the states and New Zealand? Yeah, there's a huge difference actually, it, and I know because I used to have a fruit shop here. So. Right. <laughs> and are we better here? Yeah, much better. Oh, yeah, of nice. course, Good. of course. <laughs> <laughs> right answer. I, I think stuff's um, ingredients that are a lot fresher and a lot more accessible here. Okay, it cool. It doesn't you know the states is such a big country. Um, Thing is, we've got to travel so far that um, you know by the time you get it, you're not too sure how long it's been in storage. Um, here, you, you know, you kind of know where it comes, where it comes from. You know, south of the Bombay Hills right. or the Hawkes Bay, and then it's pretty much you know it's on transit time, and then it's into the pan, straight to your door. Yeah, onto the plate. Okay, so. speaking of the pan, I can hear that sizzling away. Yeah. Is there any tips on sautéing mushrooms? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So mushrooms is one of those uh, chef aha moments I had. Yeah, the young chef in New York, and the way to sauté them is you got to start with a really dry pan. Okay. And then what happens is a lot of people, and they, they jump in there, right, and they think, oh, I'm in the kitchen, I'm a chef, and they're like trying to touch everything. Yeah, that's crazy. me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly. Mushrooms, just let them sit there. Let them sit there in the pan. Okay, and cool. Because oh, yeah, I'm always moving stuff yeah, around. Yeah. Okay, right. let them sit. Let them sit, and that's how they get a nice uh, caramelization on there. Okay. And when you get caramelization, that gives them color, and color equals flavor, and that's what makes it tasty. Nice. Without meat. <laughs> okay, good. No, we like that tip. No, that's yeah. good, because I just, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm moving it. Well, like you said, yeah. I'm moving everything around. So, okay, Tim, we've got the mushrooms going. Anthony's yes. looking after them. Our sauce is well, ready to be blended. Do you want to do something? Yeah, okay, I'll do yeah, something. Do you want me to blend them? All right. So we'll whack that on there for you. Okay. I'm under pressure today with you two. Okay. <laughs> All right, and turn that on full bore. 
Yeah, you're a champ. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to turn on the machine. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that I smells incredible. I want to taste a nice sauce, so check it now. Well, Anthony should probably tell you. Are we good? No, that's good, that's good. Yep. Usually you whisk it up and it's kind of like, this is like a, a Spanish romesco sauce without the nuts. So it's, it's kind of cross between a little bit of Italian and Spanish, lots of olive oil, garlic, and that's going to be the base that goes on the plate. Nice. And then all we do is with a simple uh, preparation on the courgette and the mushrooms, those go over the top, a little feta cheese over the top, and then that's the dish. Oh, wow. Simple. It's easy as that. Okay. And you serve it with, uh, you know, you want to serve it with quinoa, or you can serve it with pasta, tortillas. Super healthy, super fast. Okay, nice. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll come back a little later on. We'll finish this off. <laughs> so, uh, just got a plate up here. Throwing down this sauce that Anthony's made. Oh, it looks delicious. Yep. That's our red capsicum garlic onion, right? Yep. And then the zucchini and mushrooms getting put over the top. Just simply sauteed, right? Mate. Bit of feta. Oh, yum. A bit of teamwork here. Yeah, look at that, mate. I should have been your partner on MasterChef. <laughs> Bring it on over. I think I needed you. All right? All right. And now we've oh, come. This. Woohoo! Oh, oh, thanks, guys. Get that out of the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Perfect taste okay. now. Okay. What's on the menu tomorrow, Tim? Uh, tomorrow we're doing roasted balsamic chicken with tomato salad. Yeah. Mm. Okay, mm. thank you so much to all of our guests on today's show. If you missed anything, you can catch it on three now or go to our website, thecafe.co.nz. Have yourselves a great day. We will see you tomorrow.